Hello, my quintessential crew. So, thank you all for joining me again for your weekly general reading. I pray that you all are doing well, staying safe, and just taking care of yourselves. And also, you know this is the channel where I give it to you straight, no chaser, but with compassion. But if there are some things in this message that I say that don't make sense to you, that you don't care about, that you don't resonate with, then leave those messages on the floor. Leave them at the door for someone else. They will come along and pick them up. I promise and guarantee you. If you want to book a personal reading with me, my information is down below in the description box. And also like share and subscribe to my channel hit that thumbs up button on this video i would greatly appreciate it and um let's go ahead and get into your reading so this little light of mine this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All right, that's the song that began playing in my head when I was in the shower earlier, okay? I had that one song, Take a Bow. Um, actually, many songs began playing in my head, but I just felt as if um, we need to restrict those down <laughs> to a few songs. And I just wasn't feeling the inspiration for the other ones. But when that one started playing, I said, oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. And then I heard the phrase, um, it's always darkest before, the darkest hour is just before dawn. So <clears throat> I don't know who's out there who's needing to feel this, who's needing to hear this message. But um, wherever you go, whatever you do, whoever you are and... Um, Whatever is going on, keep your light shiny, keep your vibration high, keep your thoughts and keep your words um, just very positive, right? I know that's very difficult, especially when you are going through the darkest times, whether this is uh, dark times in your relationship um, or any relationships, doesn't matter which, what kind they are, financial status, jobs. Um, just your own inner turmoil. I know it's very difficult to keep your vibration high and to keep yourself just going and shining. But the more and more that you do that, the more and more that you will call in all blessings to you. The more that you increase your chances of just luck, you know, happening. Because when you begin to think negatively and when you begin to speak negatively and just think that the world is caving in, that everything is just darkness and it's just all negative, horrible, bad things that are going on around, then we attract what it is that we put out. Think of it like that Empress energy. Excuse me. The Empress card came out actually in that first reading that I did. But the Empress is an energy that attracts. Um, the Empress does not chase. So... <clears throat> Think of it like a magnet. Whatever it is that you're thinking, that's what you're going to draw in to you. So I feel as if someone is out there who may be um, a bit trapped or locked up in fear. They have some doubts. They may not understand what's going on. They may not understand and they may not uh, feel good about what's currently happening with them. But trust and believe, um, as I said, the more and more that you just think positively, that you just keep moving, that you don't stop. Whatever it is that you're doing, don't give up on it. Just keep moving, keep doing your thing, keep creating, keep loving, keep um, just speaking affirmations, your prayers, your meditations, um, talking to your higher self, to, uh, you know, spirit, whatever it is that you need to do. Keep that vibration going because you don't want to, um, you don't want to make... You don't want to get all the way there and then something happens and it pulls you all the way back. So stay, stay, stay up, stay up, <laughs> stay up. Yes, peace. Okay. Remain at peace with the situation. You are okay. Um, the darkest hour is just before dawn. So the 11th hour, uh, the 11th hour, you just never know what may, what breakthrough may come through for you so just keep yourself at vibrating at the highest level at which you can and as i said whatever it is that you need to do to maintain your peace of mind whether this is saying your prayers and your affirmations or just um cutting your energy away from certain people or certain things 
uh, and just really staying to yourself just so you can center your mind. Whatever it is that you need to do, make sure that you're doing that. Exchanging gifts. As I said, <clears throat> spirit wants to exchange gifts with you. So the gift that you are giving to spirit right now is keeping yourself vibrating highly. As I said, that's your gift. Your gift is speaking positively about yourself to other people. Um, you know, the messages and things that you are exchanging with them. As I said, the darkest hour is just before dawn. So I cannot say that enough. So keep your light uh, shining right there. What else? I knew this was going to come out right there. Message in a bottle. As I said, at in that 11th hour, just when you least expect it, that message or that money or that... Um, <clears throat> that that gift, whatever it is that you have been waiting on or maybe just not thinking was going to come through is going to come through for you. So message in a bottle uh, right there, exchanging gifts, uh, maintaining your peace. That is the most important thing. So let's get um, a little bit more energy on this. So let's see what's going on. And I did see that devil card um, a few times as I was shuffling that deck. So that's why I said, okay, don't let yourself uh, get trapped. Don't let yourself fall into that fear uh, based mentality right there. Because once you fall into that space, it can be very difficult to maneuver out of right there. And I feel as if whoever I'm speaking to out there, you have done a phenomenal job with keeping yourself uplifted, keeping your um, peace, keeping your sanity um, by the things that you're doing, by the things that you're saying. Um, keep doing what you're doing, okay? Keep doing what you have been doing. Exactly, nine of pentacles. You out here looking good, just smelling good, just taking care of yourself. Um, your health is up to par. You are, this is self-appreciation and self-value and self-worth. Uh, right here. So whatever it is that you have done to get to this point right here with this nine of pentacles Keep on doing that um, This is independent energy right here as I said if you need to take some time out if you need to be by yourself if you need to uh, just Get your mind right <laughs> Get your mind back on track then that's what you need to do going out in nature reconnecting in nature I feel as if especially if you are an earth sign this nine of pentacles This is earth energy Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy, so you don't have to be those signs, but um, Nature the earth is here for as Exchanging gifts When I said spirit and exchanging gifts with spirit Universe God, Holy Spirit, whatever you term it, the source, <clears throat> or whatever your higher power is to you. Mine personally is God, um, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit right there. Everyone does not believe in that. I believe in the Holy Trinity. But all of those things, they exist within us as well too. Now, <clears throat> before people... Tear my head off or attempt to tear my head off because I really don't care. But before people attempt to say anything, I'm not comparing us to the most high or whatever your high power is, okay? But what I'm saying is if we are to believe that there is a higher power out there that exists and that indeed created us, then we have to know that it exists within us. So... How do you think when I say maintaining your peace and when I say praying and your affirmations and your meditations, that inner voice or those voices, well, voice, voices, however many uh, voices you're hearing in your head, honey, that's your business. But um, no, that little voice that speaks to us, that's our intuition, that spirit right there. So what I was going to say is um, nature, the universe. The world, that spirit as well too. Going out into nature helps us to reconnect, um, you know, with our source right there, with our higher power. Just going to the lake, going to the beach, going to the park, going out into your backyard. Just like this lady, wherever she is, going out into your garden, wherever it is, just going out <clears throat> outside of your um, 
four walls outside of your job, wherever it is, and just speaking and just connecting and whatever troubles or whatever uh, turmoil, turmoil you might be feeling within, release that out because that's what the earth is for. It's, it replenishes us. And especially if you're able to um, take off your shoes or something and allow your feet to touch the ground, the surface, wherever or wherever you are, to actually absorb the energy from the earth right there. As I said, it's always a recycle right there. So we go out and we release all of these things that are within us, but then we replenish all of the renewed um, regeneration. Someone needs to go out and regenerate themselves. And I feel as if um, just getting in a place by yourself, that is what's going to help. So you may need to disconnect for a little while, even if it's for just an hour or so. As I was saying with growth and energy, you know, right here and the Empress card comes out. I knew, and this is why I mentioned the Empress card because I knew she was going to come out again. So um, I just wanted to put that out there. But she shows up again and she shows up in the reverse right here. So yeah, someone definitely needs to connect because the Empress is all about fertility, all about growth, all about nature, um, the greenery and everything. So whoever this person is, as I said, you need to get by yourself and you need to go to a place that you feel comfortable, wherever that is, where you're able to um, exchange gifts with spirit. And when I say exchange gifts, um, speaking, talking out loud, or just not saying anything and just meditating or just taking everything all in uh, right here. Get out of your house, <laughs> get out of your home, get out of your workspace, get out of uh, those four walls, four of um, wands right here, comes out in the reverse. Wherever you are, if you've been held up in your home, in your apartment, at your job, and you're in that environment, I feel as if it is stagnating you right now at this time. Um, not saying that it's not a comfortable place to be or not saying that you don't need to be there, obviously. However, someone has been spending too much time there and I feel that they need to get out and get some fresh air. Yeah, someone definitely needs to get out and get some fresh air um, right here. And it will, help, it will help replenish you, okay? And it will probably make your... Um, Whenever you do, whenever you do come back home, or to your job, or wherever this uh, four of wands is for you, um, it will probably improve the energy there as well too, because it's a lot of stagnation um, that's somewhere, and it's all congested. Hell, someone could be congested if you're sick. <laughs> Or if you just have allergies or seasonal allergies or something, maybe even just going out and getting some fresh air that may um, alleviate a lot of the sinus issues or sinus pressure that you may be having right there. So, page of cups in the reverse. <clears throat> All right, so I feel as if some, yeah, it's because... Whatever words or whatever your emotion is right now, as I said, because you're so congested inside and whether it's congested with um, mucus, <laughs> if you have a head cold or something or just sinus issues or whether it's just your energy that is congested, period. I feel as if it is affecting whatever you are offering to people, whatever you're giving to people. Especially when it comes from the emotional standpoint, you may not feel at your best or you may not feel 100% uh, right now. So I feel as if uh, someone's out there probably just kind of faking it until they make it. Um, you know, you're doing you're doing what you have to do and you're pulling through, but the level at which you normally give from this space or give from this place is not the same right now. So you need to go replenish. 
this is not this has nothing to do it may love and all of that stuff may come out but right now what i'm feeling um especially because this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine someone is in someone is worried about something now this very well could be in terms of a relationship or um a home situation with this four of wands that comes out um or wherever there is a happy environment but right now it's just not happy okay <clears throat> Because there's too much um, stagnation. There's too much clouded energy that's there. You may need to, if you have a sage, may need to smudge um, Palo Santo stick or something light that up and just let the smoke just kind of clear out some energy right here. But the energy is very um, heavy. And the output that you normally give, as I said, you're doing what you have to do, but it's not um, it's not as genuine or you don't feel it's as it's as genuine as uh, when you're feeling 100 percent your best. Like I said, this could very well something could come here with love and emotions. I know you all like to hear those messages, especially the um, bedroom boom readings and the little nasty messages and everything that come through. But for right now. Uh, even if that were to come up in someone's space, they wouldn't even be in the mood for it. Especially with this Empress energy coming out in the reverse because the Empress and something, well, I was going to say, okay, somebody's not getting some at home, okay? Somebody's not getting some at home. Um, <laughs> what a, the bedroom is not booming uh, right here, but with this Empress energy, it's very sensual. Very, uh, as I said, they want to take care of people. They want to they take care of themselves, but then they want to take care of their um, partners, their mates, their husbands, their spouses, whoever, again, uh, whoever these people are to you as well. But someone is not in the mood, okay, whether this is a man or whether this is a woman or whether it's both parties right here. Or if they are, it's not, um, it's not how it normally is, okay? We're just kind of going through the motions of it. So, someone needs to uh, clear their energy. Can't say that enough. There you go. Devil energy. Don't let this fear and that doubt and that worry come in. Um, if you've been working hard towards something or if you've been keeping yourself um, vibrating at a, at a very high level, um, protecting your energy, keep doing that. Don't let this come in to uh, take you down. Now, the good thing is this energy does come out in the reverse. So it is backing up everything that I just said right here. Don't I love the fact that I've mentioned the Empress. Here she comes. I love the fact that I mentioned the devil. Here it comes right here. So this is my confirmation from spirit that yes, do not let get you some sleep, get you some rest, make sure that you're eating um, well too. Um, not eating too late at night, not eating too, not eating a lot of heavy foods, maybe not a lot of processed foods, um, get you some fruits, some veggies, um, you know, that anything, any of that, that's going to help clear your energy, maybe doing a bit of a detox, um, as, so, as well for some people, but release this. This is this is spirit saying release this, release this because this is not serving you any uh, purpose right now. The only thing that this is going to do is just pull you further and further down. And as I said, once you, once you, well, once we, because I'm part of the collective as well too. And look, I've been there. Shit, this is my damn car. I'm a Capricorn. Capricorn energy right there. But <laughs> getting down in that space and. I, Okay, and first hand right here. Yes, being in this place, this is pretty much hell. Don't create your own hell on earth because that's what hell really is. It's the it's hell is what we create right here in the three D, right here in the flesh, right here as we walk this earth. Um, we can create our own personal hells right here, especially when we allow ourselves to fall into that trap 
and feel as if we are stuck, feel as if we are um, not moving, as if things are not going to happen for us, keep running that race. Because I did see the go, the, I think I saw that go the distance card in this um, deck. And I might pull some more of these as well too before we end this reading. But don't, don't, um, don't fall into the trap. Do not fall into this trap because this is what it is designed for you to do that. And once you do that, as I said, it um it makes it harder to get out of it. Fool card in the reverse. So um <clears throat> someone might be afraid to maybe take some kind of new beginning uh with something. Uh this may have happened. Okay. I feel as if this is coming up. This is something that might be approaching. So whoever is in this energy right now, because I feel as if this is current or this is timeless. So whenever you look at this uh, reading, whether it is um, as soon as I upload it or whether this is two months from now, it doesn't matter. Currently, you may be going through this period of doubt and fear as if something is not going to work out, as if... Um, You've done all this work and it's been for nothing, but that's not the case. Don't allow your mind to play games with you. Don't allow your mind to take you there. So with this fool energy, I feel as if this is something that's going to be upcoming. The reason why you need to regenerate and recharge yourself and get your mind back on track is because when this moment comes, it might be a chance to do something differently or it might be a new beginning with something. You want to make sure that you are vibrating in the alignment that you are going to be able to make the correct decision or make the decision that is going to be um, correct for you. Because this, again, is fear right here. This is riding the fence a bit with this fool energy. <clears throat> you know, sometimes it is okay to pull back just a bit. Um, but... This right here, you know what what I mean by that is, yeah, you can you can hold off on making a decision or doing something that might be sudden. You can just say, okay, give me a moment, let me breathe, let me observe, and then let me take the step. But this can just be waiting so long that you're procrastinating or waiting so long that you just fall into a fear of making a decision about something. And if you don't make the decision, then life comes along to make the decision for you. So this is for somebody right now. Get your mind right, clear your energy, clear your space, clean up your homes, because even when you clean your homes, that helps to move energy as well too. And it clears up and clean, clears things out. Saging, um, whatever it is, going out, connecting to nature. And now you can, um, what's the word? You need to recalibrate. Someone needs to recalibrate. That's all. That's all it is. Yeah. <clears throat> Two of swords, choices, decisions. As I said, there is some choice that is going to be coming up here. There is some kind of decision that's going to be coming up here. Yes, you can take a little bit of your time, maybe a day or two, or maybe even a week or so. However it goes, you know, for you, depending on what the situation is. But you can't, you don't want to wait too long. Especially with this two of swords energy. As I said, the twos represent choices right here. This is someone who knows that they have a decision or that they're, they're at a crossroads. However, they, um, they're afraid to take that next step or they're afraid to actually make the choice, whatever it is for them, or make that move. Whether this is a physical move or just a um, mental mindset because the swords represent mental. And someone is, has been playing some mental games on themselves or they're just getting themselves caught up in that mental trap again. So don't feel as if you're going to be unable to make this decision because you, you have more power than you are giving yourself credit for. But what you need to do is recalibrate so that you can get your, um, your power meter back up. <laughs> Doing whatever it is that you need to get your power meter back up. So 
Exactly. See, Wheel of Fortune, timing. So something is uh, approaching here, destiny with this uh, Wheel of Fortune. So you want to make sure that you are aligning in the right uh, vibration or in the right space for when the time comes right here. This Wheel of Fortune, it is about karma. So, you know, and it's about good luck, you know, as well, too. So keep your light shining. Because I feel as if your luck is about to change. I did say with this exchanging gifts and message in the bottle, the darkest hour. The darkest hour is just before dawn right there. Don't let this shit fool you. This is a trap. This is what they want. Okay? This is what the enemy wants right there. It could be people who are against you as well too and who are rooting for you to fall into this trap. But don't give them the power. You take back your power right there. Exactly. Clean it up. Five of cups in the reverse. We can't cry. You can cry for a little while, okay? <laughs> you can uh, cry for a little while. Uh, you can let it out. You can yell, scream, and curse, and then release it. But then... We cannot cry over spilled milk for too long, okay? Clean it up. Um, this is loss and regret, but it comes out in the reverse. So this is saying, now we have released that. <clears throat> As I said, yeah, it's okay to um, have a little bit of emotional um, release, but you don't want to just get to a place where you are just overly emotional and where you're just letting your emotions get the best of you right there so clean it up buttercup it's okay we are gonna be fine because what is coming to you is coming to you and ain't nobody gonna be able to take that away from you with this four of pentacles right here okay so this is about building and uh, reestablishing your foundation your inner foundation is what i'm talking about this is what somebody is needing to do right here. So clean up that spilled milk, cry it out, yell it out. Um, oh Lord, why is Tony Braxton playing through my head? Not another sad love song. Okay, another sad love song racking my brain like crazy. All right, if you need to listen to you so a good old slow jam or something to get that mess out, then you do what you have to do, okay? It's all right, we've all been there, it's totally fine. But you get yourself to a place that you are going to be able to make this decision or make this choice um, when it when the time comes. You want to make sure that you are in the right place at the right time in the right alignment. I cannot stress that enough. But as I said, something is definitely coming to you and it's not no one's going to be able to take that away. That's going to be yours. You see the way this man is holding on to um, these pinnacles tight? He said, oh no, I worked hard to get here. So, you've worked hard to get to this point. Don't um, don't let something or someone come in to uh, mess with you. That's all they're doing. Trifling ass folks. That's all they're doing. <laughs> or whatever the energy is. But don't allow it. Don't let them rock you. You you got this. You got this. As I said, um, pray to your higher power, to your source, or just go somewhere where you're able to find your peace, and you're gonna be perfectly fine. All right, Seven of Pentacles comes out in the reverse. So planning and investing in something. So, don't make this harder on yourself. That's what this is saying right here. <clears throat> don't make this harder on yourself. With the Seven of Pentacles uh, coming out right now in the reverse, um, this is saying, as I said, right now, it may feel as if your plans, it may feel as if everything that you have worked hard and all the seeds that you have planted, that they're not going to come into fruition, but that is not the case. You've worked, as I said, you have worked hard to get here with this uh, 10 of pentacles. So the darkest hour is just before dawn. Hell yeah. Is You're going to feel more pressure right here. The, the heat is on. You've done all this work. 
You've come all this way. You have done all these great things. And now here you are. It's pre it's like it's, it's putting a lot of pressure on you. And you may feel as if you've done all this for nothing. But baby girl or baby boy or baby, baby, baby. Now two songs just began playing in my head at the same time. TLC, baby, baby, baby. And then... Casey and Jojo. And I just did a reading on this the other night all my life when he said at the very beginning of the song, baby, 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 baby. <laughs> but anyway, all your life you had to fight, okay? Keep fight. It's okay. Keep fighting. Keep fighting this. Keep fighting this. Whatever this is to you or whoever this is to you. Do not, they're not going to win. Do not let them win. As I said, you have worked too hard to get to this point. And when you finally do get whatever this is, no one's going to be able to take that away from you. What else, spirit? Let's get Yen, okay? <clears throat> Yen, right here. This is feminine energy again. So I could be talking to a woman out here or just a man who resonates with the feminine energy. But uh, Yen, right here, this is about whatever... Taking care of your emotional and your sensitivity needs. Um, you know, trusting your intuition as well too. Community. People out here who are helping you, who are supporting you, who are cheering you on. Um, community is also um, spirit. Your uh, ancestors, your angels. Just the uh, energy in the ethereal who are helping you, who are guiding you, who are cheering you on, you know, right here, who want to see you grow and who, who want to see you win. So keep trusting and keep believing. As I said, trust your intuition. Trust that the steps that you have made thus far, that has not been for uh, nothing. This has not been for nothing because you are going to have a huge payoff. This is what I'm feeling for somebody. But somebody, but yeah, there are haters out there or there, there's energy out there that want to see you um, fall flat on your face. Do not give them the satisfaction. I did say clean it up, huh? Clean up that mindset. Clean up your mindset. Clean up the um, your diet. Uh, get you some rest. Clean up your house, your apartment, your workspace, your work area. Uh, go out into nature, you know, even just looking at these animals on these cars right here, as I said, more nature energy, get next to some water. If you need to go to, I know, you know, this time of the year, some places, um, the beach, beaches, they're closed or the beaches are, you know, it's, it's, it's cold, shit. But here in San Diego, this weather's been really nice. But um, or go to a lake or do something, you know, right here. And I say get next to water because, again, just that feminine energy. It's a lot of feminine energy that comes out here. And then even as I see this message in a bottle um, right here, so it's a lot of water. Water, um, water cleanses. Water helps us to connect with our emotion and our intuition. Even if you just need to take a hot shower or a hot bath or something of that nature, get next to a body of water or connect with water right there. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water as well too. Clean it up. You know, we cleanse the outside, cleanse our bodies, but then we cleanse the inside as well too and flush out and detox, um, you know, just the toxins that have collected within us. Clear out your energy. Clean up the environment, wherever you are. You have people, you have sources and things that are supporting you right here. Um, clear out this negative ass mindset and clear out these uh, haters right here. Don't let them win. Anyway, maintain your peace. All right, you all hit that like video, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the uh, thumbs up button. Uh, on this video as well and also if you want to book a personal reading with me my information is down below so uh, my quintessential crew my quintessential team i will talk to you all later good night god bless you and stay safe bye